In this Map Suite MVC Edition sample app walkthrough, we're going to show you how to union two features together. Map Suite contains a bunch of different geometric uh, functions inside of it, and union is just one of them. So let's go ahead and get started and take a closer look at this sample. So here you'll see we've got our basic map with the World Map Kit in the background, and we've got these two rectangle shapes on the map. If we come over here and we click the union button, you'll now see that the two rectangle shapes have disappeared, and we now just have one remaining feature that is uh, the joined or the unioned result of the two earlier features. So uh, this can be very handy if you need to you know, combine different features in your application um, or to, to clean up other, do other sorts of cleanup operations. So let's dig into the code and see how you can accomplish this. To start, let's take a look at the view source code. And within that, uh, we've got some code down here where we're just setting up the map and adding the world map kit like we do in most of our samples. And then uh, down here is where we're creating an in-memory feature layer. And this is what's holding our two rectangle shapes that you saw when the application first loaded. And we're giving it a style, you know, with uh, a bluish color and a, a border of royal blue. And we're, we're saying we want to show those rectangles at all zoom levels. So that's what that code there is doing. And then down here we're actually creating the rectangle shapes. Um, and we're going to give them an ID of area shape 1 and area shape 2 and then add them to our in-memory feature layer and then add that to the uh, um, oh, add that layer to the overlays and render the map out accordingly. So that, uh, that's what happens on the load of the map uh, where you see the map and you've just got the two feature sets. So then when the customer uh, clicks the union button this uh, union click is going to be executed and as you can see here in this JavaScript we're going to do an Ajax callback we're going to then uh, want to go to the server in the interactive overlays controller and call the merge feature uh, function. And then once this returns, we're just going to refresh the map on the client so we can see our uh, union result. So let's, uh, let's go to the, the server side um, here via the controller source because this is where most of the magic is happening. And look at this uh, merge feature function. So inside of here, we just do some basic checking, make sure we got a valid map, and then we get a reference to our uh, in-memory feature layer that we built up when we loaded the map that contained those uh, two rectangle shapes. Make sure that we still have some of those features. And then uh, we go ahead and get a reference to area shape one um, by referencing the internal features class and the get shape method. Then down here is where we're actually gonna do the union and we're gonna do some other editing as well. And uh, um, so we're going to need to go ahead and open that in-memory feature layer so we can begin to do some of that editing. And you'll see we have uh, a lot of these methods are off of the edit tools um, namespace. So all of our editing uh, types of uh, methods, the best way to use them or to find them is typically under this edit tools uh, namespace. We also have query tools and other types of namespace. So we try to categorize those methods accordingly so they're easy to find and uh, they're all kind of in one centralized place. So before we get, begin to edit, we're going to go ahead and start a transaction just in case something bad happens so we can roll back. Um, and then right here is where we're actually doing the union. And you can see the way we're doing the union is on this uh, method signature, we're passing in the ID of uh, one of the shapes we want to union and then also a reference to another shape we want to union. So in this case, we're unioning area shape 1 and area shape 2 together. So that's just going to result in uh, one new shape to be uh, um, on, that, uh, on that layer. And then finally, since we have unioned um, these together, we no longer need the original area shape one because that's been unioned in area shape two. So we can delete that out of the layer and then commit the transaction, close the uh, layer, and then um, we also change the, uh, the color a little bit. So the user had a visual indicator that something changed on the map. And then finally just uh, refresh the map so it shows the one feature instead of the two. So that's uh, a real simple way to show you how you can do some unions um, and use the edit tools and, and a basic introduction also the transaction system beginning to begin commit um, a transaction system under the edit tools namespace. I hope this uh, sample walkthrough has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us or post them directly on our discussion forums at thankgeo.com forums. Thank you for watching.